Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be reacting to scary videos and this one is brought to you by Nukes Top 5. I've seen a couple of his videos before and he always has some really scary videos. So grab some popcorn, get comfy on your couch, in your bed, whatever. Cuddle up with your dog. Let's get into it. Five ghosts caught on camera. Found footage. Popular Japanese paranormal YouTube channel Fourth Wall has found another incredibly creepy video from the internet of an alleged very strange haunting in Japan. The video is said to have been posted to the internet by an anonymous man who says he was exploring an abandoned house and found two cameras that someone had simply left behind. He says that when he checked the recorded footage from the camera's memory cards, he was shocked by what he found. Oh no, this is not going to be good. You know any found footage shit is like the worst. What happened? What? What happened? I don't understand. What happened? Did you see it? The man looks behind him, but there's nothing there. Then something seems to startle him, and when he looks again, this time a bizarre, unexplained figure is standing nearby. Oh! Seemingly just staring. Suddenly the camera falls Fuck. to the ground, but we don't hear anyone run away. In fact, we don't even hear anyone move. The internet poster who found the cameras in the empty building says he has no idea what happened to the camera's owner. It's almost as if the explorer simply disappeared into thin air, never to be seen again. Holy shit. <laughs> We're starting off on a good note here. At first, I was like, what the fuck is going on? It was like I was in, like, Cloverfield or some shit, you know? Like, the camera's just moving all over and shit, making sounds and all that bullshit. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't hear that guy run away or scream or nothing. So, that ghost snatched him. You can check out more scary Japanese videos over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. Okay. You did. Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back on another urban exploration to an abandoned temple in East Cleveland, Ohio. The unique structure was built in 1905 and served as a Masonic temple before it was abandoned in the mid 2000s. Chris makes his way through the structurally damaged property to capture the temple's unique architecture on film. Don't you hate when that happens? The camera light always malfunctions. Always. Light. My bad, y'all. This light goes out a lot for no reason. It's a ghost caught on tape, y'all. <sighs> oh, God, dude. I got the chills right now. I got them bad. Viewers of Chris. Did you hear that? Someone yelled, hey. This YouTube channel point out in the comments that a strange voice seems to say, hey, as Chris passes by. He didn't hear it? Now, maybe the creepy voice could simply be explained as some odd outside noise picked up by Chris's microphone. But what happens next is a little harder to explain. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, it could have been someone outside that window and been like, hey, like, what the fuck are you doing in here, dude? This is off limits. But now he's going into the basement or something, and it's it's not going to be good, guys. It's not going to be good. 
It's really sad that they let this historical place fall apart like this. Damn, man. That's crazy. Look in the doorways and all that. <laughs> Be prepared. Like figure can be seen see? in the doorway. I told you watch the door. I didn't even see it, but <laughs> what did I say? Watch the doorways. Watch them. It appears to be shifting back and forth. Oh, slightly okay. It just seems to disappear into thin air. Chris is completely alone in the building and has no idea what he has just captured on camera. He. Could you imagine someone just like creeping on you like that, just peeking out the corner like? Could you fucking imagine that shit, dude? Oh my god, no. He only noticed nope. the figure when reviewing his footage later. So what do you think this could be? Let me know down in the comments. You can find more of Chris's amazing urban explorations and occasional possible paranormal encounters over on his YouTube mm. channel, Urbex Hill. Yeah, see, I know that's weird, but... You couldn't really tell what it was, you know, it looked like it could have been a person, but at the same time, you never know, I guess, but that one wasn't too bad, that wasn't too scary. Weird World, a segment where all the very strange videos go. First up, a man named Corey says that he works the night shift and arrived home late one night to find his large dog cowering in the kitchen. Curious to see what had upset his poor dog, Corey checks his security footage. Oh, the poor CCTV puppy. captured something that Corey just can't explain. Oh, look at the puppers. Oh, dude, I already got the chills, the fucking camera noise going in there. Uh, and then just like the CCTV aspect of it, you know, just like the security camera, just like watching, you know, something's going to happen. Something's fucked. Oh. Oh, the puppers. Oh. Yeah, he didn't like that. Oh shit! Corey's dog seems to be b Excuse me! You don't touch the fucking dog! I'll become Liam Neeson! And I'll fucking find you! And I'll kill you! Don't touch my dog! Bothered and then startled by something in the corner of the living room. The dog growls and stares at the spot before suddenly yelping in absolute terror and fleeing the room in a panic. Now it's unclear what it is that seems to attack the dog and Corey believes that it might be related to the supernatural, as Corey says he has had some odd experiences in the home. But what do you think happened to this sweet dog? And once again, I have to say, Ghost scaring people is just entertainment, but ghost scaring dogs, no. Call a priest to exercise that god ghost right now. You tell him, Nuke. You fucking tell him, dude. Fuck you, ghost. I'm gonna exercise you. You're gone. Next up, in this weird and unexplained video, a German passenger is on board a plane flying at 30,000 feet. A plane? Wait. Hold on. I have not yet seen a ghost video take place on a plane. They look out their window and are freaked out to see a bizarre shape-shifting UFO oh. right outside their window. Okay, that's why it explains it. It's not ghosts whatsoever. They pull out their Nikon camera and quickly record. Oh. 
Oh shit. Trying to pause it to look at it, dude. You can barely make it out. It's fucking Predator coming down, dude. Oh my god, how close are you zooming in? How what is going on? What the fuck? It just keeps changing, too. It's not the same. Whatever it is. Jesus Christ, hold the camera so goddamn it. I know you're zooming in so close, but fuck. There it is again. Damn, dude. This odd video quickly spread on Reddit and opinions on what this strange flying object could be are- Hold on, let's, let's just take into factor that that guy's camera is able to zoom that far. Like, that just seems impossible. ...are all over the place and pretty inconclusive. And I definitely have no idea what this could be either. But whatever it is, it's definitely weird and strange and deserves a spot in this segment. In another strange caught on camera moment, a CCTV camera on an LA beach broadcast live on the website surfline.com. Early one morning, Reddit user I Survive on Coffee is watching the live camera feed when suddenly he spots something that he just can't explain. It's a Loch Ness Monster. After posting the video to Reddit, curious viewers theorized that this could be anything from a small aircraft to a speeding jet ski, birds or bugs, or even aliens or a sea monster. <laughs> yeah. Either way, whatever this dark unexplained object is, it's moving at an incredible speed, which only adds to the mystery. Yeah, I don't know, that's creepy as fuck, dude. I would not want to be in the water there, but like... At the same time, like, it looks like it was, like, sped up, possibly. So what do you but, think I don't is? know. Let me know down below. I don't know. Yeah. That's too tough Fear. for me to... That's too tough for me to decipher there. Of the grave. Paranormal invest... All right, come on. Let's go. Let's get us a good one in here. Investigation team Gangua P, which translates to Fear of Ghost Gang sets out to explore an extremely creepy graveyard located in Thailand. Oh, the cemetery grounds holds you know it's real then. Bodies that to oh, this it's going to be good. Have not been claimed or identified by any friends or family members. No one knows who the unfortunate souls are, and they rest in temporary mass tombs without a name. The paranormal investigators don't explain why there are so many anonymous people buried in the graveyard. But one can only imagine the number of restless spirits that might be stalking those graves. One brave gang investigator decides to take their investigation to another level by getting down into one of the cemetery tombs. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up, man. I would not be doing that. No, dude, you do not disturb graves like that. Not for a million dollars. Okay, well, maybe four million dollars, but you know. Um, nothing less than that. Nothing. Nothing. And laying there all alone in the dark. As you might expect, it did not go well. Yep. That's what I would expect. A static camera records all of the action as the experiment suddenly takes a terrifying turn. Oh! 
Jesus! What the fuck? No. Yeah, dude. It looked like someone just went like. Like, get the fuck out of my grave, bitch. Oh. <laughs> I'm not staying here anymore, I'm leaving, he said. <laughs> The Gangua P investigator lays inside the tomb for 20 minutes before suddenly something seems to violently yank at his t-shirt. The investigator is terrified. He jumps out of the tomb and runs to his friends. As he explains what just happened to him, something violently pulls him backwards and he falls hard onto the- Did you see a hand there? Did you see a hand? ...to his friends. As he explains Watch. what just happened Watch to him- Watch his shoulder. Something violently pulls him backwards and he falls- Did you see it? Watch. Violently pulls him backwards and he falls. Oh yeah, it looked like something was there. Ground. That's when the team I don't know, decides man. to just get out of there. It looked like so something grabbed him like a is, hand. Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I don't know, it could be a hoax though. You know, seems seems a little strange, you know. But you did go in someone's grave, so I'll believe it. Followed. Italian ghost. Nope. Always looking behind me nowadays, you know, because watching these kinds of videos and, you know, I work night shift, so I'm always walking around, I'm going to different uh, buildings and stuff and checking on them, and I'm the only one there. Oh, you best believe that I get the fucking chills walking through a fucking hospital. A fucking... 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, it's bad. Ghost Hunter Inquieto TV, which translates to Restless TV, gathers his close friends to go on his very first paranormal investigation to an abandoned children's asylum in Campania, Italy. The tall building holds a gruesome past and was closed down after a young child fell from the top floor, tragically losing his life. Since then, the facility has been completely abandoned. As the Inquieto TV team heads inside and make their way up a staircase, they experience something truly bizarre. Alright, so this, you can already tell by the audio that it's going to be fucked. No. The soft voice of a young child can be heard and the team has no idea where it could be coming from. They continue their exploration and make another strange discovery. What is that? It sounds like a fucking like evil, like purring slash whatever. I don't know. Did they just add like music to this? Because I I was like, what is that sound? Oh, 
non penso sia penso sia normale con tutta questa miseria no, credo non penso sto altro cielo già te lo sentivo con questo punto sono altri due piani giù comunque un sacco di orbe ci sono qui Inside one of the abandoned asylum's rooms, the Inquieto TV team finds a few tree trunks placed in a circle. And then things take an even more terrifying turn, because the explorers hear the laughter of a small child, followed by the sound of something heavy being thrown somewhere nearby. But did you see it? No! A small childlike shadow figure oh, being seen right no. in front of them. Even creepier, whatever it is, it seems to be following them. Non capisco se lo vogliono riprendere questo posto. Allora, lì hanno barrato la uscita. Oddio, guardate qua. Ci sono un sacco di disegni. And again, did you see it? In the corner of the room, the same childlike figure appears again, but only for a split second before quickly disappearing. Oh, yeah, barely. The Prieto TV yeah. had no idea that they were seemingly being followed from room to room and didn't notice the mysterious shadow figure at the time. So could this be the ghost of the... Yeah, that's really, really hard to, uh, like, pick out, you know? You gotta be looking for that shit. ...child that tragically passed away inside the abandoned children's asylum? As always... I leave it to you to decide. He's like, play with me. Play with me. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on Instagram here, on Twitter here, and on tickety tackety tackety tickety. On tickety 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 tickety. Well, guys, there you have it. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button. Hit subscribe to follow me for more videos. And if you want any more ghost videos, go follow Nukes Top 5. And if you want to see me do more reaction videos, let me know in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.